Well, I'm glad I finally found a reason to hold on to this hat for over a decade. Hey there, Netpass Pudge, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ray, and today we're gonna to be looking at Luck of the Irish. So today is St. Patrick's Day, the most culturally appropriated reason for people to have an excuse to drink. It's really surprising this didn't come under fire during that whole cultural appropriation uh, movement when that happened a few years ago. Really weird. America is a melting pot, people. Like, we adopt cultures all the time. That's how it works. So in honor of today, I decided to go on to YouTube and buy a copy of The Luck of the Irish, one of my favorite Disney Channel original movies when I was growing up. Not that I have many, because I didn't really like Disney all that much. And I gotta tell you, held up pretty good for being 18 years old. God, that was so long ago it came out. Gianna wasn't even born yet. But while I have you guys here at the beginning of the video, definitely go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I do put out. And my question for you guys this time is, what are some of your favorite Disney Channel original movies? Again, I absolutely love Luck of the Irish. I remember Johnny Tsunami pretty fairly well. Wasn't there a sequel for that? There's a lot of good ones. But yeah, let me know down in the comments down here. When Cobb decides to investigate a heritage he feels his family is hiding from him, his lucky coin is stolen, and he soon learns that he's not only Irish, he's part leprechaun. Didn't really intend for that terrible Irish accent to come out, but I'll try not to do it any further. So let's start with the fact that without the constant onslaught of Disney advertising playing during this movie, it flies at a really brisk hour and a half. I was surprised how quick this movie was. That being said, I did check out a little bit during the chase sequence in the chip factory. I don't know why. That part never really interested me, even when I was a kid. Ryan Meerman, the Disney golden boy of the era, who was also in movies such as Smart House, he was as great as I remember. Good performance. We also have Henry Gibson in there as the grandfather leprechaun, and he was good in here too. Also really liked him in Wedding Crashers as the priest. So I get the fact that his family was trying to hide the fact that he was part leprechaun, but they were like real a-holes in the beginning of the movie whenever he was asking about it. It was really weird. So one of the subplots features Kyle and his friend Russell, who are basketball players for their school, and they keep talking about how they're going to the state championship, and the whole school is super invested in this game. But then we find out they're actually in junior high, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember junior high kids going to state championships or junior highs making such a big deal out of basketball games. I think they're absolutely in high school, like without a doubt, but then later in the movie, Russell talks about how they're in junior high. It's weird. I don't think there was a lot of continuity there. Speaking of continuity and attention to detail, this movie has almost none. They try to make Kyle seem like he's shorter than he was, and there's even a scene where he's trying to call his mom on the phone, and they use like Lord of the Rings style forced perspective to make him seem shorter than, I believe her name was Bonnie, and it works pretty well. But then he takes his hat off, he's got like his red hair, and he has pointed ears in the scene, but later in the movie, they just forget all about that, and then he's like normal size, but he still has the red hair, pointy ears. There's a scene later in the movie where Russell actually freaks out, he's like, oh, what's up with your ears? And this is after he's already seen him take his hat off when he's trying to call his mom. He had the pointy ears then, he had them again when Russell saw him, but this was the time he decided to freak out about them. The sequence where Kyle faces off against the villainous leprechauns during the old Irish games was always a favorite of mine when I was a kid, and I think it still holds up today. It's a classic DCOM moment. The visual effects held up surprisingly well, being that the movie is 18 years old. You do notice it's a little bad, especially when the mom's walking around when she's a leprechaun size, because she's clearly on a green screen and they just superimposed her. But I think the worst effect that they had was when Seamus was starting to shrink again, and he has like his hands kind of like shrink in and then his head shrinks. It looks real bad there. Everything else was pretty passable for a Disney Channel original movie. Also, I never realized this, but there is a lot of like racism elements in this movie. I never noticed that when I was a kid. And also they kind of heavy handedly hammer home the point that America's a melting pot, especially with a cringy ending where everyone gets up in an auditorium and sings, this land is my land. Oof, that was rough to watch. With all that being said, let's talk about the one element that elevates this movie to the greatest Disney Channel original movie of all time. And that is what I would consider the starring role of Santa Barbara's finest, Carlton Lasseter. I mean, Timothy Omenson. See, there was a whole reason that I put this here, other than, you know, the fact that it's green. I don't have much green. He is undoubtedly my favorite part of this entire movie, and he plays the villainous leprechaun so well, you just love to hate him. I loved this movie when I was younger, and even though I haven't seen it in over a decade, like I've said, it was just as enjoyable, even if it is flawed in many aspects. Luck of the Irish gets a 6 out of 10. So, I hope you all enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day. I know I did, just sitting around playing video games. 
So that's my review for Luck of the Irish, quite possibly the greatest Disney Channel original movie ever. As always, thanks for watching, guys. It means a great deal you're continuing to watch the videos that I do put out. Definitely go down and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I do put out. Give the video a like, share with a movie-loving friend, and let me know down in the comments what you thought about Luck of the Irish and what are some of your other favorite Disney Channel original movies. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.